Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be doing an oil change on this 2016 Honda Rancher. Uh, this is the one with the dual clutch transmission. And this is all the supplies you'll need. So this is 1040 Honda oil. Um, it's going to take 3.8 quarts. And this is the oil filter here. And this O-ring is for the oil filter cover. That's the part number there. 10 millimeter for the oil filter cover, 17 mil for the drain plug, and then this is a washer for the drain plug here. All right, let's get started. All right, first step is you're going to want to get the engine somewhat warm. Um, the warm oil will drain better. So this one is somewhat warm. So we'll go ahead and take the 17 millimeter and loosen up the drain plug. All right, oil is done draining. Got my new washer on the drain plug. Um, if you don't have a new washer, you could probably get by with using the old one. Um, I don't think you would encounter any leaks reusing it, but since I have it, I'm gonna use it. And just snug it up. No reason to crank on it. Okay, up next, we gotta get the oil filter out, so we're gonna take off this whole assembly here. Uh, it's probably easier just taking off left and right sides, so just remove this whole assembly as one unit. So just pull up. All right, got side covers off. And there is the oil filter cover right there. All right, so this is on the right side as you're sitting on the machine. You'll notice there's an arrow right here going up. So you wanna make sure you put it back on the right way. I'll get a wrench for that. Take the cover off. It's probably a good idea to have your drain pan under, under there too. Okay, so you got a spring right here. And then notice which way this comes out. It actually says outside right here. And there's a rubber gasket that goes here on the inside. You don't want to put this in backwards because you'll have problems. So it goes in like this. All right, we'll go ahead and take this old O-ring off. We'll use our Harbor Freight Special. Just get under it, peel it off. And we'll put the new one on. like that and you want to make sure you coat this with uh, some oil so it goes on easier Just take a little bit from there and put a light coating of oil on it just like that okay Just got the new oil filter got the spring 
It says outside right here. And arrow pointing up. millimeter bolts Fill is right here. And it's gonna take 3.8 quarts of oil. Okay, since I have this gallon jug here, which is four quarts, um, 3.8 is what this calls for. I just took this little beaker here and I poured out um, six ounces because 0.8 of 32 is 26 ounces so I just put six ounces in here then I'll pour all of this in the machine all right then go ahead and put the oil cap back on so what we want to do now is we'll fire it up and let it run for a bit and, and check for leaks because once you have this cover back on it's kind of hard to tell you can't really see this so start up let it run before you put the cover back on so you can watch for leaks in this area let it run for about five minutes I didn't see any leaks so I'm gonna go ahead and put these side covers back on all right all back together and one thing I want to show you is there's an access cover here on the left side just clips in like this and just, just pull that off and there is a dipstick to check the oil level right here and one more thing what I like to do is just put a little reminder right here, just the date, miles and hours. Um, helps you keep track of, you know, when you did it. So, thanks for watching. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.